Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. Sharp tail, drummer, fool's hen, prairie chicken. Folks give grouse all sorts of funny names, but the fact of the matter is, grouse ID is no laughing matter. Montana has five different species of grouse native to our state. Three that live in the mountains, and two that live on the prairie. Dusky, spruce, and ruffed grouse are adapted to living in the forest and mountain habitats around Montana. The sage grouse and sharp-tailed grouse are found on the prairie. So long ago, you could have found sharp-tailed grouse west of the Continental Divide, but the population started decreasing and Fish, Wildlife, and Parks closed hunting to sharp-tailed grouse in the 1940s. By the early 2000s, sharp-tailed grouse were entirely gone from west of the Continental Divide. But recently, Fish, Wildlife, and Parks reintroduced sharp-tailed grouse to the Flint Creek, the Bitterroot, and the Blackfoot Valleys in hopes that we once again get to see sharp-tailed grouse on their native homelands. So if you're out hunting in one of these areas this fall, you could encounter a sharp-tailed grouse. So it's more important than ever to sharpen your identification skills while you're out hunting. Look at this. We have two grouse here right now, a rough and a sharp tail. All right, right here we have a sharp-tailed grouse. You can see it's a great camouflage color, hard to spot in the grass. The head, you can see, has pointed feathers on the crown, feathers around its nose, the sides, you can see that it has white spots on its wings. And then its chest is mostly white colored, but it has these V-shaped marks on the feathers called chevrons. And then if you take a look at the tail end of this bird, where it gets its name right, it has a nice pointy sharp tail. Over here, we have the rough grouse, which you might see in the same areas as the sharp tailed grouse. And even though the sharp tailed grouse is a prairie bird, you may see them sitting in trees. Rough grouse will do the same during different parts of the year. You can see that their head, they have a crest, maybe a little larger than the sharp-tailed grouse. If you look at its chest, it doesn't appear as white as the sharp-tailed grouse. It has more of a barring color that you'll find on it. The rough grouse in Montana are mostly gray colored. Some may appear kind of this reddish brown color. And as you look at their wings, notice you don't see those white spots that we spotted on the sharp tail and the tail is a huge difference. You can see that it has this large rounded tail fan, which it expands when it's flying and it's easy to see. The sharp-tailed grouse doesn't expand its tail when it's flying and it's nice pointy pin. Like all things, bird identification, it just takes practice. So let's play a game of rough grouse or sharp-tailed grouse now to test our grouse ID skills. Well, thanks for coming to another Wildlife Wednesday. And if you're gonna be hunting grouse west of the Continental Divide this year, keep a sharp eye out for those sharp tails.